Hi everyone, Donut here. Welcome to part two of Capital Riot Review, Leo Recap Capital Review. Yesterday I had quite a few people in the comments saying I'm not a patriot and I support tyranny because I don't support the beating the shit out of police officers while breaking into the United States Capitol. Um, pound sand, uh, kick rocks, 69 a porcupine, go away. Thanks for the views though. Part two. Last week, there were a couple of videos and a lot of people talking about how the Capitol Police just stepped aside and let some of the rioters slash protesters walk right into the Capitol. Fucking traitors! Oh, traitors! Fucking traitors! They're gonna lock us in. I don't have the full information on what was up with that. As I said in the last video, it's been less than a week. Like I said in the last video, we do know that the Capitol Police Chief resigned because of very piss poor planning on their part. Not to take away from the officers who were actually on the front lines, they did what they had to do with what they had available, especially the officers that we're about to talk about. One thing that threw me off were the different types of videos being taken around the Capitol property, how different they were. In one video, you have Capitol officers standing aside and letting hundreds of people into the Capitol building, while other videos show rioters literally crushing an officer and pepper spraying police. That first video threw me off pretty bad. I was like, why would officers do that? Some of the people you see walking by are some of the people you saw in those famous photos from the house floor. Like mega airsoft zip tie man here. I got to looking at the video while protesters were walking in Capitol Hill and look standing back there. There's like a hundred officers. There's a giant line of cops who could easily stop all these people from entering the building. I don't know for sure, but what pops into my head is that they, they were protecting the congressmen who were evacuating and leaving the door doors open as a diversion, like giving them a little bit of the building so the talking heads could get out. It could be something else or piss poor communication. I don't know. It's food for thought in the comments below. The second video looks like it's in the underbelly of the Capitol building and you can clearly tell the officers were putting up a fight and trying not to let the rioters have one inch of that hallway. At one point, you can see a rioter pull out some bear mace and start spraying cops with it. That's a tiny hallway with hundreds of people in it. I guess the rioters slash protesters, whatever you want to call them, I've never heard of pepper spray cross-contamination. It sucks. That's why you don't normally use pepper spray in a fight. It gets everywhere. Absolutely no one was happy in the tunnel on this day. Speaking of standing your ground, doing what you know is right, and being an all-around general badass, we have Officer Eugene Goodman. I know I make fun of the sheepdog thing quite a bit. Like, you never go full sheepdog. Never go full sheepdog. But Mr. Goodman here was literally a sheepdog. He herded an entire riot. I love this video. It starts off with Eugene already having discarded his baton and quite ready to provide the crowd with some lead deterrent. He collects himself, grabs his baton, and purposefully leads the mob away from the evacuating Congress. Congressman. And where exactly does he lead them? Right into more friends with guns and batons. You know what they say, I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. Thanks to Protect and Serve user, not Lozerish, for that little meme there. One more thing that I would like to thank Officer Eugene Goodman for is at 186,000 upvotes, Reddit actually liked police for one day. More like social media, May to December 2020, Fascist Pig, and January 2021. The hero we need. It was just like that one reporter who was on the house floor when the rioters started breaking in. He overheard a police officer who was evacuating them saying, I bet they like us now. <laughs> Boys, we had some characters in this whole debacle last week and they're all in jail now. Let's start off with the Dingleberry leading the pack chasing after Officer Goodman, Mr. Doug Jensen from Des Moines, Idaho. He was arrested by US Marshal Saturday and faces five different charges. What about Mega Airsoft Zip Tie Guy? Remember the video we watched earlier of Capitol police standing aside as protesters entered the building one individual looked very familiar to me from behind as he was going up some stairs hmm it wasn't until later when i started seeing pictures come out on the senate floor that i realized who this individual was kevlar gloves knockoff cry pants plate carrier with no plates punisher patch thin blue line patch enhance 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 black rifle coffee company hat <laughs> 
Mother of God, Matt Best raided Capitol Hill and streamed Call of Duty Warzone on the same day. Upon further investigation, if you look at other pictures from inside Capitol Hill that day, enhance, enhance, enhance Evan Hafer. Super serial though. There were people on the internet for a couple of days trying to say that that was Matt. Oldwish.com Airsoft Bro here is 30 year old Eric Munchel from Tennessee. He was arrested not long after and charged with a couple felonies, just like the waterhead from the last story. Buffalo Viking Man. He was a familiar face during the weirdest raid of a government building I've ever seen. His name is Jacob Chansley. Oh, and guess what? He was arrested and charged with some felonies too. Turns out he's like a shaman or something and he has to eat organic food and, and he wasn't eating. And so a judge ordered US Marshals to give him organic food. All right then. Can't believe they let him carry a spear in there to be completely honest. The guy who stole Nancy Pelosi's well, tonight, dais. Tonight, resident Doug Jensen Fuck is getting off. ready. The guy who stole Nancy Pelosi's dais. Don't charge this man. He was obviously taking it to fix up a home for his popular TV show Fixer Upper. Who in the world would steal Nancy Pelosi's dais and walk it right out the front door of the Capitol building? I think you already know the answer to that. It's Florida, man. <laughs> this is Adam Johnson of Manatee County, Florida. He was arrested by federal marshals a couple of days ago and also charged with a couple felonies. The guy in Pelosi's office with his feet up on the desk, guess what he was? Arrested. Mr. Richard Barnett of Arkansas caught three federal charges. The funny thing about him and Florida, man, is they totally thought they could throw off federal authorities by shaving their beards, but it didn't work. Aaron Mostofsky was arrested. I don't know who that is either. I just wanted to be dramatic. You didn't really Really see him very much during the donut news network feed we did but he's quite the character also as you can see from this picture there he is dressed as a caveman with a stolen police vest and riot shield and a stick standing in capitol hill discussing politics with a guy who's holding a confederate flag here we were thinking 2021 couldn't get any weirder turns out mr mostofsky here is the son of a king's county supreme court judge he also ended up being charged with a couple of felonies. To be fair, I'm pretty sure he's coming down from a really gnarly acid trip right now and has no idea where he is. Just look. Look at him. Where am I? Hello? Mom, can you come pick me up? I'm scared. Well, that's about all I got for you fine people today. Uh, there's probably going to be a part three about the female who got shot and killed. I think that's going to be its own video. Man, there's still a lot coming out about this situation, so there could be several more parts to this. I don't know. Come on over to twitch.tv slash donut operator. As soon as this video is released, I'm going to be over there streaming. God knows what. Use your Amazon Prime account. Connect it with your Twitch account. Subscribe to me for free. Help support the channel. Other than that, everyone, please have a fantastic day.